Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous two classes, we learned an introduction to cycloalkanes, Bayer's strain theory and its limitations, the Coulson and Muffet's modification and such a more theory. If you did not watch them, I have given the links right below this video in the description. Watch them. In this video, I would like to talk on the chemical reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. In this lesson, you should learn the chemical reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. Chemical reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. As we have learnt from the previous lesson, cycloalkanes constitute large organic category of saturated hydrocarbons that possess only carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen single bonds. Because of the stability of these bonds, the saturated compounds show low chemical reactivity to other families of organic compounds. They are inert to a wide range of reagents including strong acids, for example hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid, strong bases, for example sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, reducing agents such as hydrogen and most oxidizing agents, for example potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate. They undergo very few reactions. Cyclopropane and cyclobutane are small ring compounds and experience a large strain as compared to cyclopentane and cyclohexane. Due to this, cyclopropane and cyclobutane are highly reactive and undergo ring opening reactions to relieve the strain and thus get converted to more stable open chain derivatives. In cyclopentane and cyclohexane, the reactions are analogous to open chain alkanes and they do not undergo ring opening reactions because of their stability. In spite of the limited scope of their reactions, cycloalkanes are extremely important chemicals. They are the ultimate reason for our high standard of living. Petroleum and natural gas are the sources of these hydrocarbons and others. Hydrocarbons from petroleum and natural gas are important not only for heating and energy generation by combustion but also for the manufacture of other chemicals that are in turn converted into the myriad synthetic materials such as medicines, plastics, rubbers and textiles that enhance our lives. Here is the list of chemical reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. Number 1. Substitution reaction. Number 2. Addition reactions that include addition of chlorine or bromine, addition of hydrogen bromide or hydrogen iodide, addition of hydrogen and number 3. Effect or action of heat. Substitution reaction with chlorine or bromine. Molecular halogens such as chlorine, bromine or fluorine react with cycloalkanes but only in the presence of heat or UV light. Thus, the reaction is called halogenation or photohalogenation. In this reaction, a halogen atom such as chlorine, bromine or fluorine is substituted in the place of hydrogen atom of a cycloalkane to form an alkyl halide. The term alkyl halide encompasses any organic compound containing one or more halogen atoms. Cycloalkanes react with chlorine or bromine in the presence of diffused sunlight or UV light to give a monochlorination and monobromination product respectively. In each case, only one monosubstitution product is possible because all hydrogens are chemically identical. Some special reactions or addition reactions of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. Besides the free radical substitution reactions that are characteristic of cycloalkanes, cyclopropane and cyclobutane undergo certain addition reactions. These addition reactions destroy the cyclopropane and cyclobutane ring systems and yield open chain products. In each of these reactions, a carbon-carbon bond is broken and the two atoms of the reagent appear at the ends of the propane chain. See the reaction given. Addition of chlorine or bromine, which is also known as catalytic halogenation. Cyclopropane reacts with chlorine or bromine at room temperature and in the absence of diffused sunlight to produce 1,3-dichloropropane and 1,3-dibromopropane respectively. One of the carbon-carbon bonds of cyclopropane is broken and the two halogen atoms appear at the ends of the propane chain. Cyclopentane and higher members of the family do not give this reaction. 
addition of hydrobromic acid and hydroiodic acid. Cyclopropane and cyclobutane on reaction with hydrogen halides such as concentrated hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide undergo ring opening to give haloalkanes. When cyclopropane reacts with hydrogen bromide to yield 1 bromopropane and with hydrogen iodide to give 1 iodopropane. Similarly, cyclobutane reacts with hydrogen bromide to yield 1 bromobutane and with hydrogen iodide to give 1 iodobutane. Cyclopentane and the higher members of the family do not give this reaction. Addition of hydrogen that is a reduction or catalytic reduction reaction. Cyclopropane and cyclobutane react with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst to produce N-propane and N-butane respectively. Hydrogenation of cyclobutane takes place at a high temperature that is at 200 degrees centigrade than that required for cyclopropane that is at 80 degrees centigrade. And the last reaction is the effect of heat. When cyclopropane is heated, it produces propene which is possessing a double bond in its structure. Similarly, cyclobutane on heating, it yields a mixture of compounds known as 1-butene, 2-butene and 2-methylpropene. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. With this, we end the topic of cycloalkanes. I will come up with a new topic in the next video. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.